In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make access table searchable online in your own website. In this example, I'm going to use the sample database that Microsoft provides, which is the Northwind sample database. Note that in this database, you have uh, multiple tables. Uh, we're going to use the orders table as an example. And I'm going to put that orders table on this section of my website so users can search it. When I'm done with this tutorial, you will have a searchable interface just like this one where users can search for orders based on order ID, see the results, and then from the results, drill down into the details for each orders. First thing you need to do is log in to your Caspio Bridge account. After doing that, you can import a table. Note that in Caspi Bridge, you can also import the limited text, uh, such as Microsoft Excel, saved as a CSV, um, tab delimited. So let's go ahead and import that Northwind sample database. Click Next. If you have a big table, you can also zip up the file prior to import uh, so that it's faster. Here it gives you all the different tables that you can import from your Microsoft Access database. Uh, let's go ahead and use the orders table. Uh, when importing you can also append to an existing table, you can replace an existing table in your Caspio Bridge account. In this scenario we don't have any tables so we're going to import it as a brand new table and the name of this table is orders. Click finish. It says that it imported a total of 830 records. That's great. Go ahead and close this. After import, you can click on the table. You can design it to look at the design of that table. There's different data types that you can use. Uh, text 255. You can even change the data type uh, after you upload it. You can also open the table to look at all the records. And as you can see, there's 830 records in this table. Now we're ready to create the search application so that users can search this table on your website. Click on Data Pages. Click on the New button to create a new data page. In this case, we're creating a search and report application. And the data source for the search application is going to be the orders. Note that a search application consists of a search page, the results, and the details. We're going to configure all of these pages through this wizard. Click Next. This is going to be a search form. Next. First one that we're going to configure is the search page. Let's go ahead and give our users the ability to search by order ID and maybe ship name. Click Next. The form element for the order ID is going to be text field. You do have other options. And the comparison type is going to be equal. Note that you also have other options in here. For example, if we know that an order ID cannot be more than 15 characters, let's go ahead and set the field width to 15 characters. As for the ship name, the form element for that is also going to be text field but the comparison type is going to be contains so that they can search by keyword. Click Next. Now we're going to configure the result page. There's a different result page layout. We're going to use the tabular. Click Next. Here it's asking me what records I would like to show on the result page. Let's go ahead and just include the order ID, maybe um, order date, require date, ship date, and ship name. Click Next. Here it's asking me how I want my result page to be laid out. Um, for example, you can, all, you can fix the labels. You can change the formatting. By default, uh, these fields are going to be rendered as text. But you can customize that if you want. But for now, let's go ahead and leave it with the default settings. Next. Here uh, we can sort the result page based on a specific field. Let's go ahead and sort it by order ID. We're going to show 25 records per page. 
We're going to enable interactive sorting. And if you want to give your users the ability to delete record, you just check this box. Click Next. We're going to include Details page. Next. Let's go ahead and include all of the fields in the Details page. Next. And again, everything is rendered as text, but you can you have other options. Okay, finish. And we're done creating the search application. We can go ahead and preview this search application to see what it looks like. Note that you can search by order ID, ship name, search. Shows you all of the records. This is the result page. Click on the details. And it shows you the details for one particular record. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put it on your website. First thing you need to do is designate a section in your website where you want the search application to appear. Log into your Caspia Bridge account. Select the data page that you want to put in your website. Click on the Deploy button. We're going to use the embedded model. Copy the deploy code to your clipboard by hitting Control C. Click Deploy. Go to the source of the web page where you want to put that application and paste that deploy code on that section of your web page. Save the changes and publish this web page into your website. Go back to your website and hit refresh and you should see the web application on that web page. You can click from within your web page, you can see the results and from there you can see the details. This concludes the tutorial for publishing your data page application into your own website.